Hello, this is Activate Your Grammar. Today, we are going to look at verb plus infinitive. Now, in this case, we are not going to use the Spanish reference for the example. Regarding its use, infinitives contain verbs. They cannot function as verbs. They do not convey a sense of tense. It is important for you to take into account the context, both of its use and how it is being employed. This explanation will be taking place in two different moments. The first one is the structure, and for that, please bear in mind that we can have examples that are affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Therefore, the structure can vary a little bit in these cases. For an affirmative sentence, we have a subject plus verb plus to plus infinitive and a complement if it applies. Kim decided not to stay at home. If it were a negative sentence, I am not wanting to go now. Or if it were an interrogative sentence, would I like to hear more? The second aspect or the second example goes as, there are two common verbs, make and let, which are followed by the infinitive without to. The structure goes as, subject plus verb plus noun plus infinitive, and a complement if it applies. For example, my boss made me book a flight. Carolina let the dog go out. Now, there is something worthy of pointing out, and it is the passive infinitive. This is when we are talking about the use of to be plus the past participle. For example, the parent was made to pay for what the kid broke. It is important to understand that in the passive form, let will be replaced by the word allow. For example, I was allowed to go in. We also have to take into account the aspect of the verb there. It can be followed by the infinitive, with or without to. In this case, the structure will go as subject plus verb plus to, understanding that it can or it cannot be included depending on the example, plus infinitive, plus the complement if it applies. For example, there is hardly found in affirmative sentences. For example, I didn't dare to jump from the trampoline. Lastly, if there are no auxiliary or modal verb, there can be followed by the infinitive, with or without to. In this case, who would dare to accuse you? As it was mentioned at the beginning, this is an aspect purely contextual, and it's always important for you to bear in mind the different uses and the different contexts where it applies. Congratulations! Now you understand how to use the verb plus infinitive. Good luck! <laughs>